To his critics, he's just another flashy winger with little end product, someone whose flair can be as frustrating as it is dazzling. But for those who watch him week in and week out, Rafinha has shown glimpses of brilliance that hint at something much greater. He combines Ronaldinho's raw flair with the speed and directness of Gareth Bale, making him a force that, when fully unlocked, could terrorise defences across Europe as he has only now started to. Born Rafael Diaz Beloli, life wasn't easy for the young Brazilian growing up in the impoverished neighborhood of Restinga in Porto Alegre. Football was his escape, and from a young age, he displayed the kind of street-style flair that reminded fans of Brazil's finest. But unlike many young Brazilians, Rafinha's path to the top wasn't straightforward. Even after he was discovered by a scout from Avai, a Brazilian second division team, the journey to Europe wasn't immediate. He made his way to Vitoria Guimaraes in Portugal, where he quickly started making waves. Then came his transfer to Sporting CP, where his undeniable talent earned him a big move to Ron in Ligue 1. It was here that he began turning heads, combining goals with moments of pure magic on the ball. With 8 goals and 7 assists in 36 appearances for Ron, he showed an impressive ability to beat defenders and create chances, qualities that soon caught the eye of Premier League side Leeds United. At Leeds, Rafinha truly announced himself to the football world. Under Marcelo Bielsa, he played with the kind of freedom that let him express his natural Brazilian flair, often leaving defenders in his wake. Leeds fans saw his potential instantly, and it didn't take long for him to start drawing comparisons to some of the most exciting wingers in the world. His combination of speed, agility and an audacious eye for goal had fans comparing him to the likes of Ronaldinho, albeit in a different era and setting. Rafinha's dribbling technique and ability to take on multiple defenders with ease were reminiscent of his legendary countrymen. But it wasn't just the Brazilian flair that made him stand out. There was also a certain ruthlessness to his play, a desire to get forward and make things happen, a trait he shared with Gareth Bale. The way he moved, directly attacking the space in front of him was a nightmare for opposing defenders. During his time at Leeds, he wasn't just a winger, he was the heartbeat of their attack, creating space, setting up chances and driving his team forward. Then came the summer of 2022 when Barcelona came calling. The Catalan club was looking to rebuild and they saw something special in Rafinha. He joined the likes of Lewandowski, Pedri and Gavi in a new look Barcelona team under Xavi Hernandez. Yet, the start of his Barcelona career was anything but smooth. His first season was riddled with inconsistency, and many wondered if he was cut out for the demands of a club like Barca. But as the 2024-25 season rolled around, something changed. Under the guidance of new coach Hansi Flick, Rafinha has begun to flourish. He recognized the importance of giving the Brazilian freedom centrally or on the left flank while refining his tactics tactical discipline, a blend that has brought out the best in him. Suddenly, Rafinha is putting up numbers against the best teams in the world, such as Madrid and Bayern. In only 11 games this season, he's already scored the same number of goals as he did in the whole of last. And it isn't just the numbers, it's the way he plays. Fans are seeing glimpses of Ronaldinho magic. Rafinha's dribbling is mesmerizing. His ability to change direction and leave defenders rooted to the spot is thrilling to watch. But but there's also that Bale-like directness, his sheer speed on the break and his knack for finding space behind the defence. Comparing Rafinha to Ronaldinho might seem bold, but the similarities are there. Both players have that unique Brazilian style, the flair, the tricks, the ability to do the unexpected. Rafinha, like Ronaldinho, can create something out of nothing. But while Ronaldinho was all about finesse, Rafinha brings a different edge. He combines that flair with a relentless relentless drive to get forward, much like Gareth Bale in his prime. The Welshman's influence on Rafinha's game is equally evident. There's a certain explosiveness to the Brazilian that mirrors Bale's best years at Tottenham and Madrid. His willingness to take on defenders, his physicality and his powerful shooting make him more than just a skilled dribbler. He has the pace and strength to bulldoze his way past defenders if the situation calls for it, making him a true hybrid of Brazilian flair and European efficiency. Furthermore, 
more. When we look at his goals and assists in comparison to Ronaldinho and Bale, the similarities in their contributions to the attack become even clearer. Ronaldinho is known for his playmaking ability, averaging around 0.4 goals and 0.4 assists per game in his peak years at Barcelona, creating as many chances for his teammates as he did scoring himself. Bale, on the other hand, leaned into a more direct approach, especially during his time at Real Madrid where he averaged close to 0.5 goals per game while regularly clocking speeds near 35 kilometers an hour in sprints that left defenders stranded. Rafinha, meanwhile, seems to be developing a balance of both styles. This season, he's registering around one goal and one assist every two games, a solid contribution that reflects both his finishing and his willingness to set up his teammates. His ability to drive into the box like Bale, combined with the creative vision to link up in tight spaces like Ronaldinho, is a mix that Barcelona has long sought. His off-the-ball movement also shows a keen understanding of when to break forward and when to drift wide, making him versatile in a way that's crucial for Barca's new setup under Flick. These qualities, combined with his tactical growth, suggest that he's carving out his own legacy while standing on the shoulders of two of the game's greats. Barcelona fans are witnessing a new side to Rafinha. His partnership with players like Pedri and Gavi has only grown stronger, and his chemistry with Lewandowski and Yamal has been particularly impressive. Playing primarily on the left wing, he's shown an uncanny ability to cut inside, creating space for Lewandowski in the centre. It's a partnership that has echoes of Bale and Benzema at Real Madrid, a combination of power and precision that few teams can handle. But beyond the numbers, it's Rafinha's mentality that has taken him to another level. The player who once struggled with consistency is now showing signs of maturity, stepping up as a leader, even captaining the club, and delivering in the moments that matter most. His experience in the Premier League toughened him up and, under Flick's guidance, he's added tactical discipline to his game. At 27, he is entering what could be the peak of his career and he's doing it at a club that appreciates both his flair and his fire. Barcelona fans are starting to see that in Rafinha, they might just have have a player who can do more than score goals or pull off flashy tricks. They have a player who can lead, a winger who truly combines the elegance of Ronaldinho with the raw pace and power of Gareth Bale. Remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to turn on bell notifications so that you never miss out on any new videos. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!